Sometimes, we need to use all our CPU memory, because there is some places in memory is empty, but we cannot use it. What should we do? We will use indirect address to solve this problem. Let's see how. We will learn in this video. What is the indirect addressing? How to use it by example? If we put 10 in marker word 5. Now you can use marker word 5 as an address. It is mean if you root open data block and write marker word 5 as an address. It will open data block number 10. This the meaning of indirect address. Now we will give an example. You must to know indirect address is only available in statement list language only. Now we will write STL program for start stop circuit using indirect address. Now we load pointer 0, 0.0. That pointer will load the memory address 0, 0.0. We will use this address as an input for strap button. After that we will transfer memory address 0.0, .0 to marker double word 10 by using transfer instruction as shown in video. Now we can use marker double word 10 as an address. This mean if I write input md10 at equal input 0.0. .0. Now we can use marker double word 10 as an address for memory. Inputs and outputs. Now we will write STL program equal strat stop circuit and ladder diagram as shown in photo. As shown in program, we write IMD10, this mean I0.0. .0. Here we use the indirect address with input as shown. Now we will write the rest of the program. A means and. This mean the states between brackets will be in series with the states after brackets. O means OR. So, we use it to make IMD10 in parallel with Q0.0 .0 to make latching. After that we will make states between this brackets in the series with stop button I0.1 and Q0.0 .0 to make start stop circuit. If you try to use the indirect address in ladder digram, it will give you an error. Let's simulate it. After download the program to our virtual PLC as show. If we active input 0.0, .0 it make the UPIT 0.0, .0 open. But, if you read the program, there is no input 0.0. .0. We make it indirect address in marker double word 10.